Hey there, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about how to add a light to something that isn't actually lit up as a visual effect inside of Fusion and Color, and it kind of uses some parts of DaVinci Resolve that are really neat. Here's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make this little device that has this bright light. And to give you an idea of what the heck this looked like before, well, here's what it looked like before. No light at all. One thing I will mention though, is that it is really important if you know you're going to add a light to something to accentuate it with a real light of some kind. So we do have a red light shining on this. We just couldn't get a red light inside of this little indicator thing. I mean, we probably could have, but we didn't have time. You know how things go. And so we do have some red light on this to make a light look a little more natural. We do have some red spill here. And if you think about it, the direction and everything doesn't really make sense, but it will help. So again, I'm going to kind of walk you through how I did this just because it takes way less time than doing it from scratch. And you should get the general idea of how this works. So we start out with our original footage here. And the first thing we have to do to really do anything to a moving shot like this is track it. Now, depending on the type of light that you have and the type of movement that you have, there are probably several different ways that you can track it. For this one, we had to do a corner pin track just with the tracker. So down here in the nodes, I added just a regular tracker. And I tracked the points that looked like they might track that were sort of by the corners of our light. And that actually went really well, pretty easy. That tracked pretty well. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is make a tracker node and then add four trackers and put each one on a corner. And once you have that tracked and go up here to operation and select corner positioning. What that does is put an image corner pinned to each of these trackers. And if it selects the trackers wrong and says, oh, well, this tracker is actually the upper right hand corner, you can go here and select which tracker is which corner and get rid of any problems you might have. The only other thing I did in the tracker node was switch apply mode to color dodge. So normal looks like this. It's just a picture of a red, I think it's a tail light or an indicator of some kind, and then selected color dodge to make it look more like it's lit up. So let's take a look at that image that we used. This is just an image of a couple different indicator lights and I masked around the red light with a really soft mask. And then because we are corner pinning this, we need to crop it to be the right size. So I just cropped it around that mask so that this is like the entire picture, right? So you could do the same thing if you're working in Photoshop or something, but you want whatever's going to be corner pinned to be the entire picture that you want corner pinned there. Then we added a blur and corner pin that using our tracker. And then that pretty much has that stick to the light. And it looks like a little light bulb in there. Now I tried this with a bunch of different ways. Uh, I tried just making a white solid in there. I tried just putting a lens flare over this. And this is the best way to do it. This is the way that looks the nicest is putting a picture of an actual light on top of it, at least for the kind of core of this light. So now it's pretty good. The next thing I did was grab a background node turned it red and put a really soft circle mask on there. This is gonna be kind of like the glow. And I find you can use stuff like this, like just masking a background node to do all kinds of stuff like this. This is a great way to relight things is just pick the color of background node you want and then mask it. Then I merge that over our footage that has the light image tracked onto it. And that's at about 24% with a color dodge apply mode. So here's the difference if I turn that off and on. So it's just adding a little bit more glow to this thing. So it looks like light's actually coming out of it. And that's really all I did inside of Fusion. Probably even could have done this part in color, but we got this most of the way here in Fusion. Then I took this footage into the color page. Don't be afraid to do a effect halfway in the Fusion page and halfway in the color page. There's just not really any problem with that. So I'll walk you through the color nodes here. I just have four serial nodes here. The first one is just a general look, a little bit of contrast, boosted up the gain a little bit, brought down the lift. And I also, in saturation versus saturation, took down some of the more saturated parts of the image, like this. So that this is just getting way too crazy. So we can bring that down a little bit, just so it's not completely oversaturated. Anytime that you have something that's a light, it's gonna be pretty saturated. But we can take that down to be a little bit more tasteful here. Then in our second node, made a circle window over this light, and the only thing I did was add some noise reduction. Now, this is only available in the paid version of Resolve, and in my opinion, is 100% worth the upgrade price. All this is doing is, see if we play this back, because we are boosting the color channel so much, it starts to get noisy, kind of gets noisy and chatters. So what I did here is just reduce the noise so it doesn't chatter as much, just so it looks a little bit more reasonable. 
Then in our third node, made a power window around our light and tracked it and added just a boost to the midtones in the curves. And that ends up just kind of making this glow a little bit more. And then for our final node, this is just a great big soft circle window over the general left side of the screen. It's not even tracked. And I just pushed a little bit of red into the gamma just to give that a little bit more of a red glow here. And there we have our final effect. Fake lighting inside of Fusion. Now, as good of a job as you do here, it's probably not going to look as great as the real thing. So this is one thing I'm kicking myself on is man, I sure would rather have spent a little bit of time and put a real light bulb in here because this looks okay, but you know, nothing's as good as the real thing. So I hope you've had a good time. I know I've had a good time. If you want more videos of good times, well, check one out right here and you can subscribe and, and get some new ones a couple times a week. That's pretty neat. Now that lights up my life. <laughs> you get it because it's a pun? Okay.